So what exactly is inside one of these things and what is it that actually makes an ELT work? So what exactly is inside this ELT? Well, first of all, we took four screws out and that gives us access to our battery. So this thing here is the replacement battery. It expired in uh, September, 2018. So yeah, it's not gonna be very good for us. So we've got, uh, let's see, January, 2003, and it's kind of wet and greasy, like probably battery acid. So I should probably put something on my hands to deal with all this. But as you can see, what connects the battery to the actual ELT is not exactly rocket science here. Right? It's just kind of janky little wires like you would have on your house. So it's pretty much like wire nutted together. And that's what we got in our new one here. So when we look at the new one, you can see that, yeah, it's actually kind of a janky little system there. They're just gonna wire nut that together. Hopefully the ANP does a good job. Otherwise, when you do crash, your ELT is not gonna make much noise. So. These batteries, I don't know, they're like 60, 80 bucks, something like that, but this one went bad pretty much today, September 1st. So that's out for using. This rest of the system is, we'll just kind of do that. Fairly lightweight. It's like, doesn't weigh much at all, really. It's not much to it. But obviously there's something in here, some sort of inertial sensor and something for this little switch right inside there. That's either gonna be off, arm, or on, so we could actually hear it going off. So, well, let's see what it's gonna to take to open this thing up. I'm not an A&P or a mechanic of any sort, so I think this episode is gonna be mostly just lots of hammering, banging, prying, and uh, tearing away at stuff, but we're never gonna use this thing again, so let's uh, have some fun with it. All right, so we're making some progress, not a really a whole heck of a lot, so uh, hacksaw time. All right, hacksaw's going kind of slow. Time to up our game here a little bit. And that seems much better. So far, I think what we're finding is some weird sort of foamy type material inside this thing here. So yeah, not exactly the right tool for the job, but let's keep going at it. All right, we're taking a new approach at this. I'm not gonna be able to get through the front of this and peel it back like I really wanted to. Don't really have the right tools for it. So we're simply just kinda whittling away little by little to get the foam out of here to be able to show you the inner core. So uh, does anybody know, you can leave it in the comments below if you do know, how many licks does it take to get the center of an ELT? All right, I'm getting a little tired here. So that's what we got so far. Hopefully you can kind of see this. What you're looking at is a little bit of circuitry. Obviously your two battery wires goes to this little bit of circuitry here and inside, you can hear that little mechanism. That little mechanism is in the direction of flight. It would go ahead and set off the ELT when you have a hard bump in the direction of flight. So that's the idea here. In this axis, you're gonna go ahead and set off the ELT. In this axis, not so much. So if the airplane just falls and lands straight up and down, probably not gonna set off the ELT unless it's a hard enough impact to somehow jar this in the horizontal axis. I wish I could open this up a little bit more for you guys, but I'm just getting kind of tired. So that's really what's inside here. It's very similar to like an airbag sensor. Simply hit something head on hard enough, you'll set off the ELT. As far as what makes these things go off on their own automatically, it's just totally error. Sometimes thunderstorms will make them go off. Sometimes hard landings make them go off. Sometimes if they're mounted wrong, just the vibration from the airplane, whatever, could set it off. Ultimately, you know what to do if it's going off. Simply go ahead, set it to off. It'll reset it, set it back to arm, and it should be ready to go. If you want to test it somewhere between zero and five minutes past the hour, you go ahead and switch it to on. You monitor 121.5, and then you go ahead and hear it. Of course, I think we've... Uh, We've done a number on this one. So let's see if we can actually hear it 
when we hook our battery back up to it, even though this battery went bad in 03 or needed to be replaced in 2003 anyways, it still was powering this thing when we ripped it out of here. So let's go ahead and see here, will this thing work? Well, it doesn't quite make the, uh, the ELT siren sound, but we got something going on there. So it does in fact do something still, not really quite sure what, um, but I believe that bell means uh, school's out, video's over. You guys know what to do. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check out our brand new channel, the vlog series from Alaska all the way down to Florida. Amazing vlogs. Check it out on the link in the description right below. Go ahead and click it. Check out the new channel. Make sure you subscribe to it as well. And check out the website, of course. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.